PK family, my name's Nonstop Parkour, and today I got a tutorial for you on the double leg. So, as always, let's get to it. Before learning this move, I recommend doing any type of hamstring stretch. So any type of stretches that really loosens up this muscle. Because you will need that flexibility to have the right form when you're in the air, so you have the correct type of rotation. After you're done stretching, here's the first step, the run up. There are two ways that people usually go at it. There's the way that Corey DeMeyers does, where he goes in a J step and then does it, and then the way I do it, or a lot of people do it, where they just go straight from like, they're going into a side flip. So run up straight here. But either way, if you do a J-step run up or a regular run up, you're eventually going to end up right here. For a side flip, you usually just put one arm out and then uh, the back arm just right here and then go like this. Since you keep your legs straight, it's gonna be much harder to get a quick snappy rotation. So what I do to get a much harder twist is go here, here, and then I bring my both of my hands up instead of just one, both of my hands up, and then I throw it down, and then as I'm throwing my arms down to get that rotation, I throw my hips up to get a lot of height. And another part, another difference is usually for a side flip, you stop, you swing your arms here, and then tuck, uh, you're gonna keep on swinging your arms all the way to up here. So you're going to make a U. So here, here. Once you're in the air, what you need to do, what you need to do is keep your legs straight. I usually try doing this by flexing my toes and trying to point them to my face, okay? Because what your body wants to do is bend them slightly so that you're, you're like ready for the landing but trust me the difference between this and this is it will make a huge impact on how your double leg looks you're going to look behind your around your shoulder for your landing and then spot your landing and then land but you need to make sure on your landing that Right before you touch the ground, you start to bend your legs again so that you can absorb the impact instead of just landing like this. Because that will do a bunch of wear and tear on your knees and all your joints and everything. Now, of course, if you're trying to learn this move, I would assume that you know how to do a confident side flip. Of course, it's not required, but it will be much, much easier to get the right type of feeling if you already know how to already know uh, already know how to do one <laughs> so once again comparison this is a side flip and you tuck and everything else and this is a double leg and as I always do with all my tutorials let's finish it off with a review And there you go guys, a tutorial on the double leg. It's a very fun, flashy move to just whip out, show off to your friends and whatnot, but I'm gonna stop babbling right now. If this helped you, please give it a big old fat like, and if you're not subscribed already, remember to subscribe, subscribe, because I'm gonna have some awesome LA videos coming out in the next few weeks. So, without further ado, I'll see you in the next one. Oh.